The United States prison system at both the federal and state level is responsible for managing the largest incarcerated population in the world. In particular, as of April 2012, the current population of inmates being held at over 200 federal prisons and overseen by the Bureau of Prisons is approximately 177,170 people. This totals 81.4% of all inmates across the United States when also considering privately managed facilities and community correction management offices. Amongst the states that house federal facilities, California and Texas hold the majority of inmates within their walls. As prisons continue to push critical mass, decision makers can deploy an analytical platform that enables real-time tracking of inmates, empowers managers to store and access diverse sets of information, and provide guards with the ability to proactively monitor inmates' profiles and understand their capabilities. For example, at Mendota Prison, a new guard is assigned to cell block A. Using the tools at his disposal, the guard is able to procure information on his new inmate population. He quickly learns there are 50 inmates assigned to this block of the 200 total inmates throughout the prison. He can use reference material to brief his supervisors and colleagues on each inmate's reasons for conviction, criminal history, custody level, and network capabilities. As part of his threat assessment, the guard discovers an interesting fact that one-fifth of the inmates on his block are members of the Nuestra Familia. To get a better understanding of the gang's demographic, the guard can view each member's personal file. Starting with Bernard Phillips, the guard is able to see basic properties on his file as well as attached media, such as tattoos. Looking at his related entities, the guard sees that Bernard Phillips' organizational leader is Lloyd Crawford. Lloyd Crawford also resides on cell block A. As the guard probes into the file of Crawford, he finds a strange anomaly. Crawford has a custody level of minimum one, which the guard knows is a level of classification that does not provide eligibility to be a trustee. However, Crawford is on work release and is currently permitted to leave the facility to perform work in the community. Interestingly, the guard notices that there's a document that states that Crawford already had his custody status changed, but the entire document was not tagged, thus he has not been removed from work release. It is important to find out if this is just a data entry mistake. In order to determine if it was a data entry mistake, the guard decides to check specific criteria against all the prison's population. By filtering the entire database for specific characteristics and variables and applying it to the current data set, it is confirmed that Crawford is the only inmate who is mistakenly labeled. The situation is more than just plausible, but indicative of how decision makers can manage large sets of data across the federal prison management system. It is concerning that Lloyd Crawford was still permitted to be on work release. Analyzing how this mistake can lead to insights in larger investigations, we begin by learning that he worked at Ace Cabinets which is the same small business that another inmate, Clayton Lamb, has worked at for a period of time. Upon reviewing Lamb's file, we can only determine that he's a member of a rival gang. Viewing the other employees at Ace Cabinets to maintain situational awareness, it is possible that Amy Wright and Mary Adams have visited the prison and are affiliated with Lamb and potentially Crawford to some degree. Interestingly, both Adams and Wright visited Lamb and Clinton Morano at Mendota Prison on several different occasions. Wright also met with inmate Ted Norman. Investigating this current situation further, the guard discovers a report associated with Morano and Norman. On November 20, 2011, guards conducted a shakedown of cell block B and busted Morano for possessing a weapon discovered in a cell. The guards also found some coded pocket litter in Norman's cell, which they sent to the Mendota gang unit to be decoded. After collaborating with the gang unit to decode the note, the guard learns of plans to kill Lloyd Crawford and that the plot is somehow connected to Amy Wright the Ace Cabinet's employee. Although it is not exactly known how Wright is involved, analysts working with the gang unit report that Crawford's old cellmate, Jason Mack, killed an inmate, Stephen Goodman, at Three Rivers Federal Correction Facility in Three Rivers, Texas. Goodman was once a cellmate of Ted Norman and gang member of the European Kindred, a rival gang of Nuestra Familia. It is worth noting that while this presentation demonstrates the power of detailed analysis with limited open source data, an investigation with the full data set possessed by the Bureau of Prisons and other private stakeholders could yield countless opportunities to enhance effectiveness in the decision-making process, streamline inefficiencies, and identify weak links. In other words, help program managers build a more efficient program across the enterprise in real time while providing a safer environment throughout the prison system.